Girls of Reddit, did you ever have a guy that you wished you said yes when to? When he asked you out, what is the story? Story 1 My mom was waiting for a guy to get off stage so she could interview him for Buddy magazine when this little weird guy came over and asked her, her out. actual words were he was way too ugly. I was just too good for him. After that I asked her why she shut him down. The guy turned out to be Stevie Ray Vaughan. She said when that? the guy she was waiting for finally got off stage, the little guy got up and did a couple of songs. She instantly regretted treating him like and that and tried to talk to him afterwards. He told her, I wasn't good enough for you before I played. And nothing's changed story to. My grandma just told me this story. In high school she met this guy. He was very intelligent, fairly good looking and greatly humorous. She really liked and she them. was very aware that he liked her as well. So one day he finally asks her out and she rejects him. My grandma continues to talk How about how he turned out so well. He had money and a really nice so life. So I asked her well. Why did you reject him? And her exact words were. I couldn't date a ginger R. Old People Story 3. It was my freshman year of college. I made a contact with some random guy from across the quad. He walked over, sat next to me, and we had a short conversation. He invited me to his Before room. Before my friends showed up and dragged me away. Turned out we lived in the same building. I went to his room, and we talked and joked. As though we'd known each other our entire lives. And constantly. This engineering student was complimenting the me. The mediocre biology kid on how smart I was. He and I ran into each other several times. And there was always a connection between us. But I was in a long distance relationship. And I at never the time. went for it. I turned down the only guy to ever give the butterflies me in my stomach. And make me smile story for. In college, there was a guy who I thought was weird and annoying. So I said no when he asked me out the next year. He returned looking hotter than ever. And it turned out he had spent all summer working out. I regretted my decision until I invited him over one and night. And he ended up stealing my PS3 and my Yoda backpack thankfully. I was able to get the Yoda backpack back as he was actually roommates with a friend of mine. He even wore the backpack the next day. And everyone knew it was mine. The worst part was the aftermath. I invited him over to hang out. But once I was reminded of his I sent him on his way the next day. He told everyone that we had something special. And he even used the backpack as proof. As a result, I was known as the overly friendly girl. He sold my PS3. And he even took my roommate out on a date. It was a rough week story 5. I said no to a perfectly lovely guy who was just my type once because I was feeling a bit and down and not as if I could deal with the world of romance. I mentioned this to my best friend in passing one and day and it transpired that they knew each other. My best friend managed to dig me out of my Enough shell to at least go out for a quick meal with them. Two years later I walked down the aisle towards them. We're now fulfilling a lifelong dream of mine. living in another country together and having a life full of love and adventure planned. Obviously I'd never have known this to regret it but it's incredible to How think different my life if I'd be. stuck with my original no. Story 6 I did this event at the Queen Mary and could not stop staring at this guy. I just thought he was the most gorgeous thing on the planet. My event coordinator noticed this and ended up bringing him over the last when night. When they had a ball, we walked around the deck and when I told him how I had slipped and almost fell, me into a dip and said like this, he tried to teach me how to dance, which he was great at, and told me how he traveled and loved school, and all the same things as me. It was the best, most romantic night of my life. I had to go back to my group, and he stopped me on the stairs to kiss me and said, This is the last chance I'm going to have to do this. What do you want me to do? I told him I needed him to keep walking. Because at the time, I was in an on-again, off-again relationship with a totally insensitive person. I think about him all the and time beat myself up a lot for passing on someone so great for someone who didn't care about if me. If I could redo one thing in my It'd life. It'd be that night story seven. Two guys come to mind. Grant was so sweet and I did like him. But he was going to fast for my liking. Saying I love you too soon etc. He somehow lost heart in pursuing a relationship when I me. told him to slow down. As it was making me uncomfortable. We rekindled our thing a few years later. And it didn't amount to anything serious. He's now in a long distance With relationship. With a beautiful girl from what I can see. From the outside of their relationship. He's a very sweet and devoted boyfriend. Sometimes I think I missed out. Gary was someone I really, really liked. But he was all was talking to and about other girls, so I didn't think he liked me that much. One day he asked if I'll go out with him, but it was set up to seem like a so joke. I said that's no. ridiculous because I didn't want to appear too eager and vulnerable. I found out later that he was serious, but he wanted to seem casual. This happened in high school. He had moved on to other girls. By the time I found out. And went into a relationship with this girl. She was his first girlfriend. When they broke up it devastated him. 
then some time after we got together. I was his rebound, so it was doomed from the start as he wasn't over her. I thought if I had said yes to when him, when he asked me the first time, I would have been his first, and he would have loved me that much. Story 8 I worked for several years with Harry. We had a lot of fun at work, went out surfing on beach days and mutual friends, stuck together too. Only gradually did I realize I was developing genuine feelings for him. I kept all this to myself. Of course, he seemed way out of mind, and I didn't want to make our work relationship awkward once. He asked me if I'd go shopping with him. To find some shoes, we went to the mall, found some kicks, and then he asked me if I wanted I lunch. said no. Nah. I want to work out before work, so see you later. Didn't understand. He was maybe ask me to lunch as a date. Until much later, we continued continued to work together and hang out Those as friends. And we both dated other people. Eventually he left the job to travel on finished school, but still came by to hang out. One night we went I out. I was sitting on this raised box thing. And he stood in front of and me. And placed his hands on my knees. Looked into my eyes and said, Tina, I love you. I've never been able to say this before. I love you. I've loved you a long time. And I said, uh, okay, and went back inside. I didn't know how to reply. I had had inklings he had feelings for me. But we never came out and said I it. I had a boyfriend at the time and wouldn't cheat. So here I am Harry. If you read this I love you too. Story 9 I had a really good friend in high school to who, put it lightly, was an extra friendly guy. We were really close. He would tell me everything about his experiences. With a variety of girls. Some I knew and some who are much older. Despite all these conversations, I started to fall for him. Underneath his reputation was someone kind to and all loving. his friends. He was the type who would do anything for anyone. He was a great father figure to his younger siblings. He was essentially the man of the house. Junior year, he revealed he was starting to like me. He asked if I would be his date for our friend's annual New Year's but party. I was an assuming ignorant girl, and I brushed it I off. I was hurt that he would try to take advantage of I me. I thought I meant more to than him. just another girl to mess around with. I never told him how I felt about him. Instead, I cut off ties with him. I started to distance myself little from him. Little by little with no explanation. He would try to talk to me. But I would try my hardest to avoid them I went altogether. away to college and he stayed in our hometown. After too much time thinking, I realized what I did was immature. Recently, we have started talking again. And I apologize for what happened. He told me he knew I'd come around again. But I'm happy to know he really does care for me still. He doesn't know it. But I'm going back home tonight for Christmas. I plan on surprising him. I'm going to ask him to be my date. At the New Year's party our friend has every year. Story 10, he didn't ask me out, but we were super close. It was obvious that we both liked each Until other. Until my friends and I were playing a game. Where you would have to say, who you prefer to date more in the group of friends. It was my turn, and I jokingly said another guy. Of course he was so shocked. And it was only a few days that later. I realized my mistake. I was so frustrated with myself. That I didn't talk to him for a long time. We talk a bit now. But he has a girlfriend and I had so much I regret. I do realize this that. This was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. I understand that people feel that I'm and rude. ignorant. And I can't argue with you there. On the other hand, I'm considering telling him. But I'm afraid that it'll spread false gossip. Girl Logic Story 11 I'm a guy speaking for a girl. But this story always breaks my I heart. I asked the girl out while she was a waitress at a pizza place. She agreed to go out as friends. And I spent the next six months politely so. picking her up, taking her to lunch or dinner. And doing my best not to pressure her away from me. I was in the friend zone with no signs of escaping. My boss gave me great tickets to go see the Giants at Candlestick Park. So I invited her, she agreed. Neither of us were baseball fans. But it seemed like it would be a great experience. It wasn't, it was freezing. We had no idea what was happening, and when I suggested we leave, she agreed I drove her home, and as I was walking her to the door, I grasped her hand the first time we had held hands. She yanked her hand back. I remember the words very clearly. It's too fast, okay. Message received she had moved a distance away so from I me. So I let things go. I stopped calling her, and she made no effort to contact me. Goodbye, Deborah. Several years later, I had met somebody else and had actually become engaged. I got a phone call from Deborah. She was hoping to get together. I told her that I was in a serious so, relationship. Perhaps it wasn't a good we idea. We chatted a bit and said our goodbyes. A week or so later, I got a card from Explaining her. Explaining how much she regretted pushing me and away. And that she considered me the one that got away. The funny thing is that I was so madly in to love with her. To this day, I think of her. My wife is amazing, and I am so very but lucky. I always wonder what would have happened. 
Story 12 This is my wife's story, but it involves me. We were high school sweethearts, and shortly after we started dating, she was asked to go to a school I dance. Larry Fitzgerald, she turned them down, noting she had a boyfriend. As she told me about it that evening, she was surprised to hear my reaction, which was that she blew it. At that point, Larry was already an athletic freak. Even in the 10th or 11th grade, it was clear this guy was going to do big things. As life progressed, and my wife and I started a family, Larry's career progressed, and he continued to excel. I would occasionally remarked to my that Larry had just hit another milestone, doing great at pit winning awards and so on, when the draft approached, and he was projected as a top three pick. Again I pointed out that she blew it. She would always respond but with, I was with you, or he was kind anyway, of Anyway, when he was selected third by the cards, again I pointed out how she blew it. She shrugged it off a couple weeks later. I walked into the kitchen, and she's holding the sports pen. I asked what she was reading, and she I just blew it says, handed me the paper and walked away. The headline said something along the lines of, Gerald agrees to the $60 million contract. Story 13, it was my sophomore year of college, and I had a boyfriend, a nice enough guy, but without an ounce of ambition, he was away on the weekend with his buddies, and I was bored and walking across campus to the student union building. It was a cold, blustery weekend, and it was honest to God, like something out of a rom-com. I dropped the stack of papers, and they started blowing around, and up runs the football player dude, who'd been flirting with me on and off. In one of my classes, he asked me if I wanted to go get some for coffee. my poor freezing hands, and I said, why not we opted for cocoa instead, and sat there for nearly two hours. It turns out he was an honor student, and only played football to get the scholarship he needed. It was fun and really smart and so freaking gorgeous. I couldn't believe he was talking to me. He told me he came to see all my shows. I was a theater major. And he finally asked if he could see me again. Really see me? And I wanted to say yes, but I so also badly. couldn't cheat on my boyfriend. I either. turned him down and he told me if I changed my mind, I let him know I ended up staying with my boyfriend for another few months. And by then, football dude had a girlfriend. I looked him up on Google. Once a few years He ended back, up becoming a doctor. He chairs the Special Olympics Committee in his hometown. And he seems like he's still a terrific guy. He'll always I be one. I wish I could go back and say yes to. Story 14, yes. My best friend asked me to be his girlfriend when we were 16. I told him that I didn't want to ruin our if friendship. things went wrong and we were better off as friends. I desperately wanted to say yes. But I didn't feel like he deserved to be saddled problems. with my... I wasn't in a healthy state of mind at that point. To this day more than 10 years later, I questioned what would have happened if I had said yes. He's godfather to my child and still one of my best friends. He's been married and divorced. And when I ran into his ex-wife, who I never liked to begin with, she said they divorced because she couldn't stand that he was still in love with his best friend. I'm in a relationship with a great guy right now. And we're living together. One can see this relationship lasting. But just on occasion, I can't help but wonder what would have happened if I gave my best friend a chance to be more than just my friend. Story 15 I worked several summers in high school and after graduation at the customer service desk at a family owned grocery store in my hometown. Check catching, Western Union, Lotto, etc. This was the last year I did this Left before for I college very regularly. This Hispanic guy, my age would come in to cash his paycheck. I didn't speak more than a few words of Spanish. And he didn't seem to speak any English. But oh man, was he hot? I get really flustered every time he came it in. It seemed like he made an effort when to I come was in. Working. Because he'd come in almost every Even week. Even when my schedule would change. And we'd both just smile and sort of alternate between staring at each and other. And avoiding eye contact while I cashed his check. After a while, he'd come in just to buy a candy bar or I'd something. I'd come to my desk instead of the regular checkout lane. I didn't think it would go anywhere since I didn't speak any Spanish and he didn't speak any English But there we were every week I'd look forward to seeing and him just melt every time he came in and then one day he came up to my desk and in the most adorably broken English I could ever imitate he asked me if I wanted to go out after work I was so ridiculously flustered I was so shy and so socially awkward and so insecure that I'd convinced myself never that. in a million years would this fairy tale story of teen romance despite the language barrier actually become anything more than a fantasy. To this day about 13 years later I still kick myself for being so naive when he asked me I stammered and said something about not being allowed to date customers which is complete lies by the way. My dad met my mom in the exact while store while he was checking the cute Hispanic. I look crushed and inwardly I was crushed by my own social awkwardness. He didn't even buy whatever it was 
he was trying to buy. Left the Snickers bar on the counter and I left. went home after my shift and just I cried. I told my dad about it. He worked at the store too. And I remember him laughing in at me. In this sympathetic way. I must have looked really devastated. And he said that the next time he came I should in. just be brave and try to talk to and him tell again. tell him I'd been mistaken about the about rules. About dating employees. But I never saw him again. And then I went to college. And even though I worked at the store Between again. semesters I never saw him again. I still remember this guy, and I still kick myself for letting him get away. Story 16 I had a boyfriend, and we were in the early, early happy stage of the relationship. I went to leave for work one day, and was waiting at a bus stop when a guy crossed the street to ask me out. I said something like I'm I sorry. I have a boyfriend soon after that day the boyfriend I had made me realize he was not the right person I for me. I was a housekeeper back then, and people tend to give the housekeeper liquor. At Christmas I had a very nice collection going on. Put about 12 bottles on top of the fridge. My boyfriend drank them all within a week. I broke up with him because I just wasn't down for alcoholism. I always wished I'd said yes to the guy at the bus because stop. Because he'd clearly been someone interesting and kind. But years went by I met my husband. And now I'm not interested in anyone else. Story 17 The first guy I ever really liked I was 11 asked me out. And I thought so much of him that I turned him down. Saying he could find someone better. I regretted it and tried to take it back. But the opportunity was lost. It would have been a good learning experience. But it taught me that being shy and lacking confidence doesn't pay off. I had always been rather unpopular. But I decided to face it and embrace who I was. That brought about two years or so of stubborn awkwardness. And then I figured out who I was. I asked guys out when I liked them. And I got turned down a lot. But I kept trucking on and I'm fairly certain there isn't a single guy that I asked out who didn't say yes at the time or end up asking me out later. Over the years I went from the awkward, nerdy girl that got bullied to the confident woman that picks out the cutest guy at the bar, starts up a chat with him and his and gets buddies phone numbers thrown at while her. talking about Beast Wars. Seriously, that happened. I feel like if I hadn't turned that first guy Due down, to feeling down about myself, I'd have saved myself from a few years of so misery. So I definitely regret it. However, I also don't know if I'd ended have. up being the person I am today, so I don't think I'd risk changing it. Story 18 Last year in college, I had a crush on this who guy who lived down the hall for me. I had a boyfriend though, who I felt very strongly for, despite him not treating me that well. Whenever I was upset, my boyfriend had cancelled another to date. go with his friends. The guy down the hall would invite me and over. make me tea and we'd watch Doctor Who. He'd also make me poutine and bring it to my door every so often. He was a complete sweetheart. But I was convinced I was in love with Fast my boyfriend. Forward about a week and my boyfriend breaks up in with a me. fast food burrito place. The guy down the hall made me tea. A few weeks later, the guy down the hall asked me And I out. said yes, but the whole time, I felt awkward because I was still I convinced. was in love with my now ex. I wanted so badly to go out with because him. Because he was great and attractive and so smart. But I knew I needed time. I was afraid that if I told him, he'd all take that. it as rejection. A friend of mine told me that's what would so happen. I just decided to put some space between and us. And hope he would still want to go when out. When some time had passed. About three weeks later, wounds had healed. And I went to his door to see if he wanted to have his tea. His roommate answered. And I saw him look very awkward and say, Um, he's a... He's sleeping, I'll tell him you stopped by. He got a new girlfriend a year later. He's still with her. I want to be happy for him. But I still regret everything. I ended up getting back together with my ex. He was absolutely horrible to me for about three months. And then months. we broke up again for good. 